Hey, Gunsy602 here, and I'm here to help you all, all of you, uh, correctly um, modify your text messaging settings for an unlocked iPhone on a T-Mobile carrier, any T-Mobile carrier, as long as it's T-Mobile. Um, this, I'm not sure if this works on any of the other carrier, obviously it it probably won't common sense it tells you that it won't because of the fact that these are direct settings this is not a third party uh text messaging service this is settings that are being inputted into your text into your text messaging settings so that you're able to text message um the problem that's occurring that you're not able to send text messages on an unlocked iPhone is the fact that for some reason the messaging well the messaging settings are wrong because obviously they were used for the AT&T thing or the Sprint or the you know for you know, for that would be like on a 4S the Sprint settings uh, the Verizon settings those text messaging settings are still there so while you may be receiving it, it and it basically works like well, I don't know if you've seen it but I you know I see it a lot where people try to you know they put their SIM card and and um their iPhone even though it's they know it's not unlocked and you know they get that message saying you know new voicemail but it's not quite unlocked it basically works or it revolves around that idea uh, just to show you an idea of what's going on but I'm here to help you troubleshoot that and it involves three easy steps of inputting numbers into your dial pad or dialing whatever and calling two separate numbers and let me show you how to do that. All right, first things first, you're gonna wanna, I guess, stop this. I'll go ahead and I'll stop this video to ch look at these numbers. Maybe write them down. And they're two separate numbers. The first one that I'm highlighting here, I don't know if you can. Hopefully, that'll show up on the screen. Um, the first one that I'm being the first one that I'm highlighting here. And then the second one, which is this one, which would be a separate number. The first thing you're going to do is go to your dial pad. And you're going to enter this number. Star star 5005 star 7672 star plus 12063130004 pound. Um, it's the longest number there. So you can't get confused between numbers. You know, one's like stupid long, the other one's ridiculously short. So it's not that bad. Go ahead and call it, and unfortunately I can't make the phone call because of the fact that I'm using an app right now, and if I make the phone call, it'll drop the the app. It won't. Uh, the recording will stop. Unfortunately, you know, I don't want the recording to stop because it's for the benefit of you guys. So let me tell you, let me explain to you what's going to happen. You're going to dial it, and you should receive a message saying that you're that your messaging settings are open and they're able to be modified whatever it may be you know you can read it yourself read it to yourself then you're going to click ok go to your home screen button immediately turn off your iphone and turn it back on now once you do that you should receive service again and you're ready to move on to the final step which involves going to the smallest number and you're going to dial it you're going to go back to your dial pad and dial that other number the second number which would be star pound five zero zero five star seven six seven two pound. You're gonna go ahead and call that same thing. You're gonna receive a message, click OK, and you're done. That's it. There's no you don't restart your phone again, you're done. And the way to verify is going to your messaging and obviously sending a text. There you go, just for verification. There you go, it's sent. And you know, you could send to another person. Um, let me see here, who else can I send a text message to? Uh, hey, 
All right. Now once you see that, that's verification that it works, and you should be done. Now this doesn't erase, this is permanent settings, this is not a temporary messaging settings, and for any reason, if um, I guess it doesn't work, or one day you know you restart your iPhone, or it turns off and it doesn't work, just go ahead and do the thing again. Keep it handy, the numbers, it's not that hard. Um, and you should be good. Um, this should be a permanent thing you should have no problems with it whatsoever and you'll have a normal working on it iphone and uh hopefully i helped out and again unfortunately this is only for t-mobile carriers only simple mobile and stuff like that they don't work unfortunately yes they don't work because this is t-mobile text messaging settings specifically for t-mobile obviously um, if I have any other methods for simple mobile and those other carriers i'll be sure to let you know um, hope Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, also, just for reference, the unlock that I'm using is an iPhone 4S using GVSIM Ultra S um, on the latest baseband on the latest firmware, 5.1.1, and it works perfectly. Um, but uh, hopefully this helped you all out. Thank you.